Ladies and gentlemen, may I ask you, do you still chase the butterflies of anxiety, hoping to catch them with your modern nets? Has stress found its way into your life, perhaps making a cozy home in the corners of your conscience? If so, sit up, before stress throws its housewarming party, and listen as I expound an elixir of life, brewed not in the pristine labs of new age therapies but from the dusty scrolls of ancient wisdom. Remember this, when the sandpaper strokes of modernity rub you raw, acknowledge that you are an inheritor of years of undiscovered wisdom, which holds the key to unlock your fears and anxieties. Exhale the smog of skepticism, and inhale the Eden-like air of faith in your ancestors' wisdom. In this endless stream of existential intelligence, there exists an ocean of calm ready to envelop you, once you break the dam of indifference and ignorance, my dear reader. Rummage through the attic of your memory, my friend. You, an industrious plumber of forgotten truths, might have heard from your grandmother who heard from hers, that your mind is a complex labyrinth, a minotaur of anxiety in each corner. But, equipped with a sword of mindfulness and the shield of tranquility, be prepared to conquer King Minus's mythological beast. Mere dictums of diet, discipline, and devotion from your ancestors were not embroidered into your psyche just for aesthetic appeal. Each of them offers a promising cure for your anxiety. It takes courage to surrender to the simplicity of ancient wisdom while steadfastly fighting the bedazzling influences of quick fixes offered by the 21st century medical science. Start with a diet, your ancestors stretched the meaning beyond mere ingestion of calories. They believed in a diet of experiences where words heard, sights seen, and emotions felt were equally necessary parts of one's intake. The sustenance derived from sweet words and soothing sights were believed to alleviate anxiety. So, switch off your smartphone, tune into your heartbeat, listen to chirping birds, or watch a sunset. See how this novel dieting technique helps you shed unwanted stress. Discipline, the second discipline, is all about adding a foundation of regularity to life. Did I tell you, my friend, chaos breeds anxiety? The ancients knew this and thus, the emphasis on rituals, on a particular order to living, was instilled. Bring some discipline to your life in whatever way possible, fix your meal times, your sleep time, your wake time, and observe the wonder it creates. I assure you, you will be sweating out anxiety in no time. Now, let us delve into devotion, the last but certainly not the least potent anecdote. By devotion, I don't necessarily coax you into a staunch religious follow but into a person devoted to self-love. Devote yourself to this cause, love yourself, adore your flaws, and cherish your excellences. Once this devotion blossoms, anxiety will find itself homeless. You see, dear reader, anxiety is nothing but a guest, albeit an unwanted one, which has overstayed its welcome in the house of our mind. It wants us to start fearing about the very things which we should be excited for. Like a monstrous parasite, it feeds on our insecurities and fears. However, the moment we start employing these ancient methods of diet, discipline, and devotion, we start sending clear eviction notices to anxiety. I ask you, the dwellers of modernity, to take a moment to appreciate the sheer brilliance of this ancient wisdom that combines the psychological, spiritual, and physiological aspects of life to help you alleviate anxiety. Have you ever seen more glorious acts of bricolage? Remember this, O oh anxious one. Above all else, understand that anxiety is not a terminal condition. It is an uncomfortable prick of a thorn in a bed of roses. And by remembering our roots, we can safely negotiate the thorny aspects of existence to come out on the other side to enjoy and smell those roses. So, broaden your horizons beyond the blinding neon lights of modern methodologies and invite ancient wisdom to the dance floor of your life. They say wealth is health. But is not mental wealth an essential part of this health? For those anxious about money, remember above all, peace is the real treasure, don't let anxiety rob it away. Invest in joy and happiness, for they yield the best interest and hedge against the stressful bonds of life. My dear reader, the ancient wisdom doesn't require a hefty investment but rather the willingness to invest. Invest in patience, in dedicating time to yourself, to those rich ancestral voices that have whispered this wisdom to sit beside you, calm your heart, and take control of your own life. If not now, then when? If not you, then who? So start today and drive the guest called anxiety out of your abode. After all, ancient wisdom never goes out of style.